Today I'm going to be talking about three skills that you need to have for your career. One is the technical skills. As a software developer, you really need, or in whatever it is that you do, you really need to have some specific knowledge, some technical knowledge. In this case, for software development, you might need uh, different programming language skills. You might need uh, skills on how to use the specific tools uh, in order to build software. And that's, that's a must have, uh, the, that's no negotiable. The other skills that you will need is the communication skills, uh, how to talk with other people in your team, uh, how to talk to other people outside your team, and they might not be technical people. So you really need to have those communication skills. And today I'm gonna be putting some emphasis on sales skills. That is a skill that usually it's not too much related with software engineers. So you're a software engineer, a software developer, or a person working in technology, and you're asking yourself why Santiago is telling me to learn sales skills. The reason is that there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition for the jobs that you might want to go after. Why? Because there's a lot of different channels where people can get to talk to candidates. For example, LinkedIn, for example, the different job portals, uh, referral programs for the company, uh, the website, the careers page of, of the company, uh, and many others. There are many different channels where people can consider candidates for a specific role, even when it's not advertised. So that's why you need to have sales skills. But don't worry, this is not something that you should be thinking like a sales car person or an insurance salesperson and nothing wrong with these people. Indeed, it's not about the kind of thing that you sell, it's about not being pushy and basically sharing a story about yourself. People will want to hire people they can get to know and they can get to relate with. And that's why uh, when I'm talking about sales skills, I'm talking about sharing a story of yourself on some specific topics that we are going to be talking about now. So what can you do to gain these sales skills I have been talking about in order to be a desirable candidate for the companies that you want them to hire you? So think about what are the things that you would like to share with them that could be related to work. For example, if it's related to work, it can be having a very nice and tidy GitHub uh, account where you have specific projects to share. This could be the back end, this could be the, the front end, uh, the, the REST integrations, REST API integrations. It, would, it can be whatever, but it must be something that stands out. It must be something that you're really proud of and that you are spending time on that. For example, it could be open source contributions. Um, for example, it could be writing a blog if you really enjoy writing as well uh, and sharing your knowledge. It could be having a blog where you share all the things that you discuss when you do mentoring to other people. Um, it can be having a YouTube channel or, or even uh, putting together courses for other people to learn the skills you have. Uh, and I can see many software developers nowadays that they're doing this. Again, this might not be you, and that's all good. I'm not talking about doing something that you really don't want to do. At the end of the day, it could be something that is completely different to uh, software engineering. It could be telling about your passion about surfing, if it's that what you want to do uh, when you're not working. It can be playing an um, instrument uh, to play music. Uh, it can be whatever, but you really need to put that together in a story and how that also helps you to be a software developer or a better professional in technology. At the end of the day, you're talking to another person, you want to have a good uh, relationship to be attractive to them and share a story. I hope these have been helpful. I'm going to be writing an article. Indeed, I already did it and, and you can find the link uh, below uh, so you can read the article and go into more depth in what I'm talking about. Thanks for being with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and it has been helpful and see you next time.